What is up, Flair City family? It's Bobby coming at you from the grocery store in front of the egg case because this video is all about eggs. There is a lot of choices here. You have cage-free, organic, free-range, pasture-raised, non-GMO, certified humane. There's way too many choices here, and I feel like you all have a bunch of questions about which ones to buy, which ones to avoid, and I think maybe you guys might be overpaying for eggs that actually really aren't that good. So I wanna start simple with this video and go with the most basic kind of eggs there are, these. These are caged eggs. Okay, these are 90% of the eggs sold in the country come from caged hens. They never go outside. They have less than one square foot to actually move around and they eat a feed of GMO, soy, and corn. I would always stay away from these because the taste, the texture, and the nutrition is just not good. The next step on top of that, once we go up, would be these cage-free eggs. And this, my friends, is where we start getting a little tricky with marketing because things like cage-free and free-range actually mean nothing. They're just kind of like warm and fuzzy marketing terms. Cage-free hens only have less than one square foot to roam around, so very, very similar to the caged ones. They never, ever go outside and they eat a diet of GMO, soy, and corn. I don't know if you guys know this, but hens or chickens aren't supposed to eat Grain. They're supposed to eat bugs, worms, and grass and be outside. But commercial farms want to pump and churn those eggs out so they feed them GMO, soy, and corn. Why is that bad? Well, I'm going to make a video all about that. But GMO, soy, and corn is grown with the pesticide in the actual plant that if a bug eats it, they die. But it's supposed to be safe for us. I don't buy that, and we're going to talk more about that in the video. But that's what these hens are eating. Now, next up, would be another fuzzy term, free range. And they put cute little pictures of these guys on there and all that stuff. That doesn't mean anything too, because once again, these hens never go outside. They do have access to outside with a little door there in the barn, but they actually never go there because the chickens like to be in groups because they like body heat and the farmers never encourage them to go outside. And when you start looking at stuff here, like, look at this, organic eggs with a vegetarian feed. Of course the chickens are eating vegetarian feed. What are they eating? Steak and pork chops? I mean, it doesn't work that way. The only thing that really matters to me, and this is the most important type of egg, is pasture raised. These are chickens that have 108, 108 square feet of room to themselves compared to one with the cage free. Better than that, they're not even inside. From early morning to late night, they're outside foraging, running around, eating bugs, worms, and grass, and getting lots of vitamin E and sun. And actually, if you crack one of these pasture-raised eggs into a bowl and compare it to a regular egg, the yolk is completely different. It's orange and vibrant and beautiful. The regular egg is yellow and pale. And look at the uh, actual egg itself. The shell is sturdy and rigid compared to the regular egg shell. It's soft and brittle. Now, that being said, it's not a purely 100% foraged feed. They do have some supplemental uh, feed of corn and soy. You can buy the organic version of this, but that's just the case. You gotta have a little supplemental feed. The chickens can't get enough food just from foraging. Now, it's just not the flavor that's different. It's not the price that's different. You also have a different nutritional profile when you're talking about pasture-raised eggs. And for that, I'm gonna bring my friend Paul in here to break it down. So nutritional information is very important when looking at eggs. There was an interesting study done by Mother Earth news on organic farmer Joel Salatin's polyface farms with regard to various nutritional factors with his eggs versus the factory farmed eggs. Omega-3s, there were 21 times the amount of omega-3s in Joel Salatin's eggs versus the factory farmed eggs and seven times the amount of vitamin E. So while the total cost is actually more for pastured eggs, the cost per omega-3s and the cost per vitamin E or milligram of vitamin E is actually much less. But not all pastured eggs are the same. This is really important. You have to look at other factors, such as the factors mentioned by an organization called the Cornucopia Institute, which has an organic egg scorecard. The link will be shown, so you don't have to memorize all the factors, but there's 28 different factors. And if you click on one of the farms, when you go onto the egg scorecard, you'll see there's a lot of other criteria to look at. The best eggs that are commercially available are Vital Farms eggs. They are certified humane, which is a private certification that helps people do their own due diligence because it rates according to a whole host of other factors. So always look for a certification and try and look at some other factors where you can figure out which is best for you. 
Cool. So we're going to put the link down below where you can find the best quality pasture raised eggs in your area. But like Paul said, the best one you can find nationwide are these guys. Vital Farms are high quality, certified humane, pasture raised eggs. The yolk is vibrant, the flavor is great, and nutritionally speaking, it's better than factory farmed eggs. Absolutely. Um, and just to give you an example, like the Whole Foods brand 365 eggs, these are actually rated very low on the Cornucopia Institute because they're confined and they never go outside. Yes. And if you look on there also at the Trader Joe's brand, the Aldi brand, the Walmart brand, they rank very low. So you could spend an extra dollar and get much better eggs that are pasture raised versus the ones you're thinking like these you know, cage-free vegetarian feed eggs that doesn't mean anything. It just looks like it's a happier egg. So that's what's going on. Now for you to find these really good eggs, we'll put the links down below. You can call uh, grocery stores, you can call the farmers, but also even better than maybe getting Vital Farms eggs is going to the local farmer's market or yes. finding out local farms that will deliver eggs somewhere near to you because those will be the same price as Vital Farms, but they're gonna be even better uh, even more local, so they're not traveling thousands of miles, and they're going to taste the best. So that's it, you guys. We broke it all down for you. I hope we uh, made some sense. We'll put all that info down in the description box. Uh, we got plenty more videos. Paul's going to be back for the beef video, the chicken video, all that good stuff. And don't forget Paul's paleo pancake. <laughs> yes, Paul is dying to give you his paleo pancake recipe, which yes. you haven't even wrote up yet, right? No, I'm, I'm working on it, <laughs> so stay tuned. Uh, there is a need for paleo pancakes in the marketplace, and that will be coming, and I'll I will be reminding Bobby. And there is a need for Paul's two cents, always. Well, that's always, uh, that's a given, yes. All right, you guys, um, share this video. Sharing is caring. Subscribe to the channel. Check out two other haul videos below us. But Paul and I and Art will see you very soon. Until then, hashtag keep on cooking, mad love, and peace.